I wondered, many of us have people in our lives that have bright lights that are shining on them because they're in the limelight or they're, you know, they own such and such a company or whatever. And I wonder how one deals with that, you yourself, or how one deals with when you have a very close personal relationship with people that are really out there or really large, and does it shadow, and how does one keep their own self and their own, you know, keep their ID in check and stay on their travel plan and whatnot? That's a good question. For me, uh, I happen to be in a situation where I was in a relationship with, a, still in a relationship with a very powerful woman, Oprah Winfrey. And so what happens is that when you're a man in a reverse situation like that, and you're with someone who reaches 20 million people a day mm -hmm. to try to establish your own identity, you know, when you're in that shadow, it's a very difficult thing to do. And so for me, that was a, that was a very tough challenge. So I had to dig way deep mm -hmm. to find out what was important to me and not blame her for her success, right. but find my own success and find out who I was and what I was excited about. Because once you find out what you want to do and what, what's interesting to you, then, you know, what somebody else does doesn't become as important. Uh, and so I was able to do that and then uh, bring value to, to my own personal life. And I, I really figured out who I was and what was important to me. And so that enabled me to, to give more to the relationship and, to, and to, for her to be successful, for myself to be successful. And both of us worked together to create opportunities for each other. Uh, and for other people. And for I other people. Expect. And yeah, for other people. And so when you're working to try and do that in that positive vein as opposed to the negative, which is mm -hmm. being jealous, being resentful, you can't do this, I having a victim grudge. mentality, grudge and all of that, nothing happens out of that. You see, you just dig a hole for yourself. So I chose to take the other, uh, the other road. I chose to take the high road. Uh, as opposed to the low road, and it made a difference in my life. And I continually do that, and I try to teach pe other people how to do that, because we're talking about our lives. We're mm -hmm. talking about investing in ourselves. And so it's very important to make the right decisions. Right. 